I made three of those videos where if you import a save from a specific location, you get something unique in New Game Plus. A new walking animation or a new model for Roach, and some of you said that I'm beating a dead horse or milking a five-year-old cow or something. Skesme. Now, the truth is that I thought these videos might be somewhat useful for those who play on consoles. You know how I type not a mod in the end? Well, people often ask me how some of the things they see on my videos are possible. And when I say that it's because of mods, they're often disappointed because they don't play on PC and cannot use mods. And these are things that are actually achievable on any platform. Besides, they're also new to me and, you know me, I, I love seeing new stuff in The Witcher 3, so here goes another one. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Did you know that in addition to the walking animations in the unicorn, you can actually get permanently intoxicated? Or rather in a permanent state of hallucination? However you wish to call it, but it's possible. It can be achieved in the exact same way, except you need to save the game right after taking the mushroom mixture from the hermit lady in Blood and Wine. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, Ignore it. She is located right about here and gives you the quest where you get to speak with Roach. As soon as you start understanding him, or her, by the way, he is a he, if he's the black Nilfgaardian horse. I understand. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred Nilfgaardian, awaits you in the stables. Anyway, so at that point, just save the game and start New Game Plus from that save. Also, you have to make sure that prior to that, you have finished the main game. That's all you have to do, and your next playthrough will permanently have this hallucination filter on. It is constantly active during gameplay, and depending on the environment or the lighting, it can vary in terms of how obvious it is. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Very bright areas make it less noticeable, while the opposite is true for the dark ones. And I think it looks quite good at sunset or sunrise. As for the cutscenes, the filter stays on 90-95% of the time. I only noticed small portions where it was turned off for some reason. And of course it's also off during the few pre-rendered scenes, but other than that it's basically active the whole time. Also, sadly, the visual effect remains, but not the ability to communicate with animals. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? And while I haven't played long enough on this walkthrough, to the point where I can start Blood and Wine, Judging from past experience with the Vladimir position, I'm 99% certain that if you decide to do the Talking Roach quest again in New Game Plus, that will actually disable the hallucination and you'll be able to get your normal vision back. So if you want to give it a try and then get rid of it, that should be your way out. Okay, and with that said, I think we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies if these videos have been somewhat annoying to some people. Also, special thanks to those of you who chose to support me on Patreon and the YouTube membership. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good. Sister mentioned a witcher had come to town. Sister had it right. <laughs>